I am an O blood type. I'm trying to stick to the O blood type diet. It's kind of challenging sometimes. Let me tell you how I do it. Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Butts and I'm a doctor of dental surgery. And this channel is all about health and wellness for you to be healthy and wealthy. And today we are talking about my diet. I'm talking about the O blood type diet. Now, I've read some books. I do some things. I try my very best to stick to this diet. It ain't easy though, all right? And it's not easy because there's foods all around me that I want to eat because I get hungry and they're delicious foods. Things like pizza. Pizza is delicious to me and sometimes it gets the best of me and I'll eat the whole thing. Absolutely, right? What about traveling on any diet? but on my diet, traveling, okay? Ugh. So now you're on the plane, they give you the bag of peanuts and uh, Coca-Cola. Although Coca-Cola is made in Atlanta, Georgia, right? I don't drink it because it's not good for you. That's what they say, that's what they say. So how do I stick to my diet? Well, this is what I do. I plan for it. I make, I make arrangements to make sure that the next day, I'll think about it the day before, and I'll make sure that my lunch is thought about, my dinner's thought about, because I usually skip breakfast, except for sometimes I will have breakfast, like um, if I do kickboxing at 6.30 in the morning, I will probably have a liver with some egg breakfast before I go to work, yes because after I've worked out and burned up all those calories, my body is starving, and I don't like to bite anybody when I'm working. So I try to feed myself after I've done such a hard, strenuous cardio or resistance training workout, because you gotta eat, you gotta, you gotta feed your body. I am not necessarily trying to lose any more fat. I was bigger at one point. I feel like I've gotten to my regular weight now or like my walk around weight. So all I want to do at this point is maintain it, right? So the way that I do my diet is I fast and then I eat. I do what's called intermittent fasting. Um, I do cryotherapy, I do saunas, I'll get a massage uh, and I eat. And when I eat, if you're eating with me, watch your fingers. Don't bring your fingers into my zone because I don't want to bite your fingers, all right? Um, I did a video on um, the Blue Zone people, right? And these are people that live to like 100. And in Okinawa, in particular, they eat until they're like 80% full. That's what they do. Not me, I don't, I don't do that. I, I eat until I'm 110% full, it seems like, you know? If I had more time to eat, I would eat more. But time is always of the essence. I would love to just pluck away at food, all of the food that I'm supposed to eat, check out the blood type diet that I'm, I'm eating. And for the most part, for the most part, I avoid the things that I'm not supposed to eat. I said for the most part, because I will eat some guacamole, which is they say I'm not supposed to eat it. I'm not supposed to eat that. Uh, a strawberry is kind of nice every now and again. And can you believe that they say I'm not supposed to eat strawberries also? Uh, I don't know. I don't really know, but I do know that I feel great. And it is harder to stick to the diet on the road when I'm traveling, going to California, New York. I used to go to Florida. I used to go to Florida. I don't go to Florida anymore. There's a reason why we don't go to Florida, but that's okay, we're not gonna talk about Florida. But we can go to um, Brazil or Europe or Italy. We could do those things, but we're skipping Florida, okay? That was my PSA political announcement for uh, the rest of the time right now. And we're back on, we're back on now, guys. So um, my food does involve some red meat. I feel like I get my proteins best out of red meat. 
I've had an experience where I tried to not eat any meat of any kind for a little while. I did not thrive on that way at all. I did not. So I know that when I eat meat, man, I don't get tired. I, I have a lot of energy. I'm able to get up and go. I don't get that tiredness after I've eaten some meat unless the meat is not grass fed. My body just tells me. It just lets me know. It's like, wait a minute, did I just eat grains? And then I'm out. But when you're sticking to your diet, when you're trying to do the best thing for yourself, unfortunately, eating out is not necessarily going to get you there. You're going to spend more money and you have zero control of the ingredients that they put in your food. There's going to more than likely be something gluten in there. There's going to be more than likely something that's GMO. Can you believe that in Russia, in Russia, they have banned farmers from making anything that has GMO in it, okay? And, and that's genetically modified, right? So they've banned it and they're laughing at the United States for not banning it because they have found and the evidence has shown that these particular foods are cancer causing. They make you sick. I would say that your knowledge and prevention is way, way better than being sick and having to deal with it or not knowing and then reaping the not benefits of not knowing, right? So know yourself and I say know yourself which someone has shared is know thyself is a Shakespeare mode. Great, I thought it was in the Bible. It seems so biblical. Know yourself and in knowing yourself, you're gonna know what your blood type is. You're gonna know what you like, what you dislike and in knowing what you like and what you dislike, um, you're gonna stick with more than what you like. You're gonna leave the things that you dislike or that aren't necessarily good for you, but you like them, you just eat less of it. Because really, it's all about having a good life. Why suffer through life saying that you're gonna be healthy? There's no way that you're gonna be healthy and unhappy. That, that I don't think that they go together. You gotta be happy and healthy. So there'll be times that you stress your body out. There's times that I stress my body out, but those stresses are in a cryo chamber, uh, taking a cold shower, um, kickboxing, resistance training, fasting. Those to me are good stressors on the body. And I take those and I, my thought is that in doing these things, it means that when the real stress or when the life stress comes up, my body's more able to handle it because it's already touched tastes of stress already. And I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm good. Let's go, where are we going, what are we, what are we doing, right? So with that I say, my diet is controlled as best I can. Uh, and I know when it's out of control, it just means that um, I, I had to have had taken more control or planned it out more the day before. That's it. Plan your food if you're trying to stick to a diet. Make sure that as you're eating that you are enjoying it, even if it's something that you're saying is not good for you. In your mind, know that although this may not be good for me, it's good for me now and it's going to be fine. All right? Knowledge is power. Know yourself. I know I'm saying that again, but I mean, I'm really, really seeing people that don't know and they are experiencing the problems of not knowing. It's just me serving the public and listening to their stories and what they're telling me is the things that I'm saying, mm, don't do that, don't, don't do that, try this. When they try it, it seems to work, all right? So I'm saying, know your blood type, try it, see how you feel, right? I'm an old blood type. This is an old blood type report. <laughs> and um, thank you so much. We're coming right to you direct, direct, all right? So if you found any value in this video, please share with a friend. Tell a friend, okay? Like and subscribe. And let's talk about some other things in the next videos.